Good day. This is Youth Sunday School, New Life of Albany, Albany, Georgia. Thank you for joining us today. We're just simply going to title this Apostolic. Let's pray. Father, you are wonderful. I thank you for the opportunity to share your word with the world. I thank you, God, that you take us into your body and make us part of you. I pray, God, that you would help us to get that from this lesson today. Speak through me that we all understand in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Okay, um, it's been on my mind for like a couple weeks talk about apostles and being apostles, and that's exactly what being apostolic is. And so we're following the apostles' doctrine that Jesus gave them straight from his mouth. And so there's no purer way um, to walk with God than to be apostolic. But what does that actually mean? Um, so I'll give you just a few scriptures about what being apostolic is going to help you become. And then we're going to go into, I'm going to direct you to a video to watch that is um, apostolic preaching for this time that we are in. Very important. Okay, so let's go now to Romans chapter 11, verse 23. And... Um, just letting you know in this scripture that when you become apostolic, when you decide to follow Jesus, when you repent of all the past, you be baptized in Jesus' name, you receive the Holy Ghost, you are on page one of the story of your life. So there's much more to do. It's not time for you to uh, sit on the pew and be relaxed and say, I've got this, you know, um, I'm not going to be shaken in these end time hours, but that is wrong. You need to grow in God and let you know that when you become an apostle, like those that Jesus handpicked from the very beginning, you get to be a part of Israel. So now, no matter what your background is, no matter where you come from, who your parents are, you become part of Israel. So Romans 11.23 makes reference to that. And they also, if they abide not still in unbelief, shall be grafted in. And it's talking about the tree, the body of Israel. For God is able to graft them in again. So you get to be a part of Israel. And you might say, well, you know, I've always been an American. But if you, uh, it, you don't have to be born in Israel to become part of God's people. And so it is apparent from the word that when this gospel was extended to the Gentiles, we all get to be a part of God's family. What a great thing. We get to be apostles. Okay, so second, you get to become the sons of God, and that is John 1, 12. And that um, is talking about not just, of course, sons of God, but daughters of God. And we find, you know, that, that uh, a lot of times people say, man, they're talking about mankind. So don't get um, all twisted out of shape if you think that um, is talking about only guys, ladies. But John chapter 1, verse 12 says, But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were not born, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. So you get to be now considered Israel, which is God's people. He will be your God and you are called the sons of God. What a, what a title, you know. <laughs> There's nothing in this earth that could compare to being a son of God, okay? And then Ephesians 2, 19. And we're doing this really quickly because the video I'm directing you to is an hour long. In fact, it's two hours long, but the first hour is singing and a baby dedication. It is a church service. Um, but the message is about an hour, so I want to do this really quickly and direct you there. Ephesians 2.19 says, Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, 
but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. So the people that are here on earth with us that follow God and the people that have already gone to Him, we are fellow citizens with them, with the saints in heaven. So what a great thing to be apostolic, to be an apostle, somebody who walks with God and follows God. All right, so now we're going to go to how that applies to what we're dealing with right now. Because sometimes we can look back at the apostles' lives and say, well, that was so long ago. How does that apply to me now? So we're going there. Um, 2 Corinthians 4, 8 through 9. And you could look at this and say, well, um, that was them back then. But most assuredly, we've seen troubles and trials right now that are going on that this still applies. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 and 9. We are troubled on every side. Haven't you experienced that this year? Yet not distressed not closed in but God has made you free from the law of sin and death so you're you may be troubled on every side but you're free you're not pinned in you're not um, held down um, you're not out for the count you know like the boxer in the ring you know you get punched you go down oh but you're still coming back up okay we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Despair means hopeless. You are not hopeless being an apostle. Persecuted, but not forsaken. People may hate you because you love Jesus, but God has not forsaken you. Cast down, but not destroyed. And that's going to bring us to our last couple of verses and the video. Luke chapter 12 verses 4 through 5 and I say unto you my friends be not afraid of them that kill the body and after that have no more that they can do the times that we're living in right now it is likely and, and the Bible says that some of us will be killed for what we believe but keep on in the Holy Ghost what is it to be an apostle what is it to be apostolic? It means you're in this for the long haul. You love not your life unto the death. You know, Revelation 12, 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. And they love not their lives unto the death. So you're in it for keeps, right? Verse 5. But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him which after he hath killed hath power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. So don't fear the people that persecute you for your beliefs. Stay in the fear of the Lord. You're going to make it. And the last one, and you probably know this by heart, but it's going to lead us into the video. Matthew 16, 18. This is Jesus talking, and he says, And I say unto thee, he's talking to Peter, one of his apostles, one of us, though it was a long time ago, we are still in that body. We're fellow citizens with the saints. That thou art Peter, and upon this rock, that is your key to take into this video, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. God's got you. If you are an apostle, you, and if you've not made up your mind, you're in it for the long haul, do it now, because, and you won't regret it. You become a son of God. You get to finish this life with victory and live forever with Him. So now the video you're going to is Tony Spell. He is an apostolic minister in or pastor in Louisiana. And he's had a really hard time coming through uh, the pandemic. They've put him in jail or arrested him. He was under house arrest and he's been arrested many times. But anyway, speaking of persecution, are you in it for the long haul? Are you an apostle? Are you going to do this? So, um, but he's got a great message and he's going to give you some encouragement about being a rock and not a brick. 
So he's titled it um, Babel Blueprint, and that was uh, his midweek service this week. So that was November 10th, 2020. So if you go to YouTube, type in Tony, spell T O N Y S P E L L, and look for the Babel Blueprint. If you start, you can watch the whole thing, of course. Uh, but if you want to skip to the from the singing and go straight to the preaching, it is at one hour and about 34, 35 seconds. You will not regret it. Please watch this. It's going to encourage you in these times we're in. I love y'all. God bless.